Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Dennis. Today we're going to complete that pattern. We're going to complete that Travis style, alternating bass finger style pattern that I've been teaching on my channel. And we're going to complete it or change it by adding, instead of the last quarter note in the measure, that quarter note is going to be replaced with two eighth notes. You can see the comparison here underneath. By learning this pattern and adding this eighth note at the end of each measure, we're going to be able to play three songs. Now, Dust in the Wind by Kansas utilizes this pattern. Eddie Vedder uses it in his song Tuolumne. And in the song Just Breathe by Pearl Jam, this pattern is used for all three songs. Now, certainly these three songs can all be played with the the old pattern that I'm showing here. But if you want to play it the way the artists intended it to be played, you need to replace that quarter note that ends each measure with these two eighth notes. Now that's going to make it a little hard to transition between measures because you're going to have an eighth note less time to go back to that pinch on the next measure. So it's going to require some, some effort, starting out slow and building up speed like we always have been. Let's get started. I think what I want to do now is uh, review the old pattern, show it to you on a diagram below, and show you what we're going to be up against when we do the new pattern and we add the extra eighth note. I'll show you. Let's conclude this little tutorial on uh, completing this pattern. I will be preparing a complete tutorial on how to play Tuolumne, complete with tabs and chord diagrams for you very shortly, so look for that. Oh, also, I've already prepared a tutorial on how to play Just Breathe with this new pattern. I did that a couple years back, so you might want to look that up on my channel. All right, between now and next week when I release that or um, upload that tutorial on how to play Tuolumne. And, and that will be complete with tabs, chord diagrams, um, finger picking diagrams, uh, split screen. I'll show the fretting hand with the tabs. I'll show the picking hand with the tabs. So it'll be a fairly complete lesson. And although it, it will be more intended for intermediate players, People who have been on my channel and learning this pattern, this, this won't be out of your wheelhouse. You'll be able to play this with some practice and some uh, perseverance. What I want you to do between now and next week is to practice that pattern and changing between chords. For example, in the key of C, the 1 is the C and the 4 and the 5 are the F and the G. I want you to practice playing two measures of C then switching to F major and playing two measures of that, and then switching to G and playing two measures of that. Start out slow and be articulate between the chord changes and get those chords formed as fast as you can. And, and speed will come later through repetition, lots of repeating uh, over and over again and assigning this whole thing to muscle memory. So until next week, have a good one. Stay safe. Practice 15 minutes a day, at least. That's better than two hours on the weekend. See you next time.